Here we are in the Southern Ocean, West Antarctic Peninsula, on the Elysium Expedition. This region of the ocean is particularly sensitive to climate change. The salps tend to be moving in from those more northerly areas, displacing the krill, and the krill populations are on the decline. This is a route that Shackleton took, so we're going to follow in his footsteps, but we're going to be sampling the plankton along the way. We've got a video plankton recorder and a holographic camera to get images of plankton. And then we can take this, essentially a TIFF image, and reconstruct this entire volume at a few microns distance from each other. So we get slices through this volume uh, separated by about 200 microns. The resolution on these images is about 9 microns. So we can see very small organisms, copepods, and other dominant plankton. We have a camera over here. We take 30 pictures per second as this is being towed through the water. So the water's flowing through here, and we're getting a picture of a volume about the size of my little finger. So what we want to look at is whether um, the salps and the krill um, are feeding on the same sort of food here and what sort of food they're feeding on. So one of the theories of global warming here is that the increased fresh water from the melt of the glaciers is causing the plants to be much smaller. So you're getting a community of much smaller plants. So what that means is that favors the salps. And so the krill may not be able to feed as efficiently. If they can't feed as efficiently, the population will decline. And if the population declines, then the whales and the seals and the penguins will also decline. Southern Ocean at night for plankton with a video plankton recorder, a holographic camera, and a plankton net. 220 meters because it's hanging out at an angle, so that'll give us plenty of depth, record the position and the time that's all taken. We have a holographic camera that's snapping pictures with a laser every three seconds. The jackpot was stopped. graphic camera on there. And this is a hologram uh, 
actually this window here shows the hologram itself, which is an interference pattern between a reference beam and an object beam. They've tricked the computer into thinking it's doing that, when in actual fact it's reconstructing slices through this volume, basically taking the hologram and, and doing some mathematics to reconstruct pictures. One of the biggest effects of global warming is sea level rise. My view is that with climate change, what we're going to see is a gradual deterioration of the life systems in, in the Earth. We should educate the kids, and they are the ones who should be educating their grandparents. The challenges of Antarctica protecting this pristine environment that is not only critical for Antarctica, but critical for the health of the entire planet. That, I think that would be a really good way to get the word out about um, Antarctica and the environmental uh, I guess adversities that it's facing and I think that's probably the way it's going to have to be if we want young people to listen and actually care about what the planet's going through. It's, yeah, in today's sort of high media society where